What's up, Brock Nation? Team Brock here with another deck profile. We're here with the uh, race trader. We're here with the kid. What's up, uh, dual fans? Yeah, he's doing uh, an update to his Infernoid Lair list. Let's get into it. Yeah, so those of you that have been watching our channel, all 87 of you, uh, you probably might have seen my Infernoid Lair profile from about a year ago, and I, I actually topped my locals with this last year, and uh, this year I actually topped my basement locals, which includes like five people, so uh, let's get into the profile. So top eight. Is that more than 40? Thick. No, it's not more than 40. It's just these these new dra uh, Dragon Shield sleeves. Just subscribe now and get yours free. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so let's get with the list. So I play two Anuku, two Devi. AKA. Don't. Daddy Mommy. Don't do it. <laughs> yeah, so um, I just think these are, I think this is a great ratio because you really, you honestly don't even want to play this, but you really just want to resolve Decatron and just sending him to grave to resolve um, imagination. So it's just you just gotta have him in your deck, not in your hand. So I, I play two of those because I feel like I've tried playing less of them, and it's just it's better just to keep them in. I feel, and then I do play two Seismus because the best one, just great for the grind game. Um, I play three of them if I could, but I can't, so he's at two. And then I play one Sujet because he's the brick and you have to, and to go along with him, three Decatron. He's just the everything. Best and, card in Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I just love this card. Um, always played it three. If, this, if it gets hit, this deck gets hit for good. So uh, that's it for the Infernoids. That's ten. And uh, I, I don't suggest any more than this. The little ones, like, they're good, but they're just too much of a brick. So you want to play... In this build, you just want to play as little as possible. And I feel like this is the correct number. Seems. So... The only one you really want to see in hand is Decatron, but... All right, so then, I, so then now under the to, under the layers. So I play three Liliths. She's Bay. Uh... <laughs> Ray's got nothing on Bay, and True. so just just summon this tribute their, th their shit or herself set a trap, really good. Uh, I played it three just because it's just tributing your opponent's monster is just like good any format, and this happens to be a format, therefore it's good. So we're playing three. That's funny. And now with um, I I was playing Metaverse because it's so good with Dude, this, it's witty. but I honestly ended up cutting it. <laughs> I ended up cutting Metaverse completely just because it's not consistent, and I play three of this now just because you want to get into Lair, and it's good. And the thing I like about this even more than terraforming is it's, it's terraforming or it's, a, or it's a monster, and you can also tribute their shit. So that's tribute, this tribute your monster, draw a card? Yeah, really good, or tribute itself. Really good. So it's just, it's just more consistency, really, and it, 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 since I put them in, like, I haven't regretted it. It's good. It's really good. And then my favorite, now on my, the next engine in the deck, my favorite hand trap ever, Gear Gamma, Ga Gear Gear Gamma, and the, the tri and the Hulin Triber, his German friend, which, <laughs> which I just feel like this is the perfect hand trap for this deck because you don't usually ha you want to resolve all your spells and traps like you don't really have like you don't just want to summon monsters you want to resolve spells and traps and protect you can protect them with this, and it's like you and it's a free monster so it's just really good in this deck. Seems. I, it's a, it's my favorite hand trap, and I don't have any other deck I ever played it in. But this is definitely the deck to play it in. So we run that, and and it's a it's an easy side out because it's not like I don't know. It's a nice four card engine to side out, and then we do play the three layer because it is the deck. And I, I was I was playing two in like a Mystic Mine, but I just really wanted the consistency with tributing their monster. And this is a going second deck, by the way. Like always going second, pretty much unless they force you to go first, but. It, it's it, it's not impossible to go first, but just going second is so much better. But but I, so I wanted to max out on this, so I, I so I, that's why I played three of this and just the three Arima, just to get into it as much as possible. It's uh, cause like your board is so much more threatening with like Infernoids and this out, and just like it, it, and even like a stupid Lilith by yourself with a thousand attack in this, she's scary. So three of that to make Lilith scary, and. I play three Void Vanishment because it's literally your searcher. It sucks because it's like a minus two, but I mean, it's pretty good. Like, you just get your best cards, and then you resolve those, and you win. So, do two impossible tasks, win the game. And now, <laughs> I play three Imagination because <laughs> it's a going second deck, and like, everyone goes in their extra deck besides True Draco, which I did notice. So, it's an easy thing to side out against True Draco, and you're kind of at a disadvantage, but you can still really, really stall them and piss them off. I know from experience. Um, so that's it for the spells, everyone. If you're not playing those, I don't know what you're doing, but you're not playing my deck. So I play, 
So under traps, we play, we play the three staples. If you're not playing this, I still don't know what you're doing, but you play it. Because Lilith, set this, game, open with this, and like another void card, search another one, resolve two, game. If you don't know, two Decatron, a Sajet, and then a Sisimus and a, and a Decatron. Unless you play the little ones, and you can do like a Decatron, a, Decatron, a Petrulia, and a Harmadick, but we don't play those because they're not good. And doing that's like, if you're doing that, you're in a bad position. Or like one Atondel, you're like really in a bad, anyways. So three of that. And then since this is going a second deck, I just love this card and I main three uh, evenly because it definitely doesn't make the game evenly matched. True. And uh, it's like, they just build a board, play this, blow up their board, go off. Game. It's, yeah, you're going second of, of time. So you're gonna choose to go second or, I mean, chances are you're gonna lose the die roll, and they're gonna make you go second anyway. <laughs> so, true. Like this is this can't hurt you unless they happen to be a going second deck. In that case, like, I mean, what are the odds, right? All right, let's move on. Which the kid would just lift with me. Ugh. Um, so we played two in permanence because it's just. <laughs> All right, I'm getting that. I'm getting to that. Can a can a guy explain his deck? Um, so I played two of this because, well, one, it's really good going second. So why not three? So I play two because I'm going to take this out when I get the trap tricks. I don't play that right now. Please let me know in the comments how much I suck. Um, I'm getting them, I promise. We're just all we're throwing down on some product, which will, there will be a video behind. And hopefully I pull them so I don't have to spend more of my money. Because Team Sam said he ran out of money to send me, so... I had to I had to rely on my own paycheck, which is like the rest we of the stuff. So. Yeah, so <laughs> so hit this like, hit the subscribe in order and oh and be sure to check out our Patreon. <laughs> Link in the description. It would really it would really what helps us bring you mediocre Yu-Gi-Oh! material. So <laughs> So without further ado, the last card of the Dude. deck. <laughs> <laughs> What's it do? <laughs> So without further ado, <laughs> breakfast and the last card of the deck, this is a spicy tech from all your greatest duel fans. Actually, I stole this idea from the guy, the guy who played at the uh, European Championship, and it's the three Dynamiscus. And I haven't regretted it since. It's just great removal, field removal. Banishes their card. This notebook's insane. It's a good out to Mystic Mine. It's a good out to Mystic Mine. <laughs> it, it it helps empty your hand of bro of jank infernoids, and it's good in the grave. So hit that like. Hit that subscribe. That's the deck. 40 cards, read and weep. Alright, so... <laughs> Alright, so... Somehow I do play... Uh, onto the extra. So I, um... I don't play extravagance because I'm... I'm not rich. And I do... <laughs> and I... Uh, but I... So I only play the one, uh, ti Tiara? <laughs> Is it wearing a tiara? Uh... Sure. Tiara... <laughs> Um, so is this the grandma? If that's the mommy and daddy? I don't know. It's just it's just Jesus, and uh, so one of the Jesus. I play one Jesus. Does that ever he's at he's at one. Not against true Draco, because <laughs> you can't ever get it out. Is that all you play against? Sometimes. <laughs> um, <laughs> but I mean, so get this out, dual fans. Blow up their back row. I, I usually only use three materials just so you don't fuel their graveyard anymore, like for milling, but. And I don't play that many uh, Infernoids, so I just want to like maximize resolving everything as much as I can. So I usually only do the first effect, and then I send three. <laughs> <laughs> also, Ma imagine the card's name being uh, like a sound effect. Also known as the <laughs> Entis, but I prefer to call it the Entis, because I can because I can go Entis 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 and blow up three things, and like really, and then I just like like to look at the. I just like I just do this, ints, 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 and to pair three targets, and then just look at the the face and let their face <laughs> and let their face expressions resolve. <laughs> and then, and then I play the. How long is this? Two Nine long, minutes so far. And then I do play. <laughs> I play the Cypher Fame Lord Gam Omega because he's so easy to make. He's really good because he can return cards that will banish some IE Infernoids back to your graveyard. And you can also send him with a Tiara effect and then return Tiara and resolve a second uh, Imagination or just res return anything. It's, it's just really good. It's just so easy to make. Just, just play one. Just play, it, just play that and the engine and uh, don't brick. And uh, so I play one of the, you, you've all met her. It's the new card. Her? <laughs> yeah, my whole, my whole, the rest of my extra deck is all quees. So. Alright, let's see it. So, one, yeah. one little quee, another little quee. That thing's not quee. Eh, it's quee <laughs> compared to most Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Are either of those quee? 
Is that Quee? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> if you're a furry, that's Quee. So all you furries out there, like, subscribe. Show, show us the wife. Especially Stardust. All right, I got, I got two more. I got one more little one. I, I play that. I play this just for the stupid. That's cute. No, it's not. It's ugly. I just play it for the uh, to turn a token to that because you get a lot of tokens with layer and it, you can't make some things. That's, um, now show us the Moodis card. It's cuttable, but the dick sucking Moodis card. Okay, okay. So now, the, <laughs> now, the, now here are the real cards I like. The, the dual little Chimera. Add a fire back to your hand. OTK with. And then if you have layer out, you make this instead. She's the one. The wee witch. She's the one sucking the dick. She's sucking the wee is sucking the d. <laughs> <laughs> and then I play one. Uh, <laughs> One Hita, because she's Kui, <laughs> and then one Beat Cop, because she's also Kui, and when when all monsters are dark, she's really good. You can actually like tribute their shit, which I really like doing. And then I play one of the uh, Akashic, just bounce, <laughs> just bounce the Decatron back to hand. Why is uh, there like children on it? I don't know. Because Adam likes boys. And so these are the Kuis. And then I do play one Psy Frame Lord Lambda because I do just play the rest of them, mine as well. And she's also kind of queen if you're into that. And uh, then I play the one uh, Equimax. This card's just broken. It's not that. It's not that practical, but it, but like if you can like somehow summon it and then get out like a Systemus or two, this thing has like crazy attack. And then you just attack with this, and then your other monsters can't attack with it, but then you just tribute it with size to this, and then attack with that anyways. So you just OTK. Nice long video. So so all you all you do fans, be sure to check out our Patreon account and uh we're love, almost love you wolf, love you stardust. Yeah, shout out to you guys. We love you as always. Thank you for tuning in and uh we're almost at that 100 subscribers, so once we get there, hit this like and you will you'll enter for your chance to win. Play set. Phantasmes in the mail. Team Brock, signing out. <laughs>